God bless you. Good morning, good afternoon. Well, I have no idea what to call this video because there are two things that jumped out me, out at me right now as I was sitting down and I'm asking the Lord because, you know, I mean, uh, I do these videos every day. Some days are really profound. Some days are just like, okay, God, what are we doing now? Is it just, you know, let's have something positive. Let's have something that is going to send us on our way with hope and you know with the joy and love and peace and all of these fruits of the spirit so guess what today i look at, well there was one thing i found out that i want to bring forward that was amazing did you know the word rapture is i found it in the bible gateway i just typed in the word rapture guess what it came up i'm going to tell you where that's at in a moment also the fruits and the gifts of the spirit <clears throat> the number nine which today is nine nine 2016 <laughs> double no, double nines so i'm going okay god it's double nines what does that mean because we've all been seeing double this double that you know okay so the double nines to me means since the number nine represents fruit of the spirit comma hour of prayer according to the biblewheel.com the fruit of the fruit and the gifts of the spirit but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace long suffering gentleness goodness faith meekness meekness temperance Against such there is no law. Galatians 5, 22. 22! There's another double. <laughs> okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, we lift up our oil. Thank you, Father, that you bless us every single day. You're always with us. You give us wonderful revelations of you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus, now be with us, anoint us, appoint us, and send us with something positive today, Lord, that we will be have all of these fruits of the Spirit, all these nine fruits of the Spirit that we ask you to bless us with double portion this day in the name of Jesus, because it's a double nine. <laughs> okay, so I thought that was really cool. But the fruit of the Spirit, the fruit of the Spirit. You know, I was walking out today and there's a big oak tree on our property here. And I was thinking to myself, wow, this tree has been here so many years. And, you know, I believe that all of God's creation is alive. You know, scientists have put together little wires and they know that when plants are sitting there and they play classical music next to them, the plants thrive and all their little leaves and branches go up in a beautiful, like looking up to heaven. And then when they play rock music, what happens to the plant? It just curls up and it's not happy at all. So I was walking and I thought this tree, this oak tree is where my horse is buried. We buried my horse when she died. And uh, when I was a child and 10 years old, and <clears throat> I was just thinking, this tree has been here so long. It's seen so many years with me. You know, I haven't been on living on this property a long, long time all my life, no. But I've, of course, come back, come back, come back. Because this is like my Terra. So anyway, I just thought about the tree. And I thought, why am I thinking about the tree? And I thought, well, we are to be like a tree planted by the water that our foundation is in the Lord, that we will not fall to the left or to the right, even though people beside us will. We're to keep our eyes on the Lord every day. So it's nice to, when the Lord uses little things like this, to help us realize that our connection is with the Lord. So then of course he brings me back and he says, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace. These are awesome words to just think about, to think about, do we have love, joy, peace, long suffering? Are we long suffering like the Lord was with us and continues to be with us? Gentleness, do we see gentleness 
in other believers. <clears throat> Goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. There's no law. Now, there are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit, for to one is given by the Spirit the word of wisdom, to another the word of knowledge by the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another the gifts of healing by the same Spirit. To another, the working of miracles. To another, prophecy. To another, discerning of spirits. To another, diverse kinds of diverse kinds of tongues. To another, the interpretation of tongues. But all these worketh that one and the self same spirit dividing to every man severally as he will, as he will, as the Lord will. We can ask God that we want this gift or we want that fruit, but it's as he wills, not as we will. I truly believe as we live crucified and we say, not my will, but thine. I constantly think about Jesus in the, in the garden of Gethsemane. And he was sweating tears of blood. That is long suffering to me. That is a prayer of great, he was burdened greatly with many things I believe he saw in the valley. Okay, in the garden. I want to now talk about a little bit. The number nine is the largest di digit, just for fun a little bit. It used as a, it, it, it used as a numerical symbol in scripture is relatively rare and somewhat diverse. So many com commenters have found it difficult to establish its meaning. Almost all begin with the two verses above, which list nine fruits and nine gifts of the Spirit. This correlation finds its origin in the creation of fruit on the third day, nine equals three times three, and the great spoke three themed relating to food, nourishment, and the Holy Ghost. Many commentators also note that there is a certain sense of finality associated with the number nine because it is the largest and the last digit. This is particular, uh, particular pronounced in its uh, rep digit form 999, which is one less than 1000, which is the literal meaning of the name of the first letter alpha, alpha L -L -F -A -L -E -P -H, and so seems to bring us back around full circle from one, which is God, to 1000, which is um, the victor. In general, the names, the numbers, excuse me, 999 and 999 and so forth are used in contrast with powers of 10. This is really heavy for my brain at this hour. <laughs> this is a lot of stuff. <laughs> Can we stay with this? I don't know. The power anyway, basically, Jesus used the numbers on this form in his parables. For example, he used 99 equals 100, one in Matthew 18 through 12. How think ye, if a man have an hundredth sheep, and one of them be gone astray, doth he not leave the ninety and nine, and goeth into the mountains, and seeketh that which is gone astray? Likewise he used nine equals ten equals minus one, excuse me, Luke 17, 17, 17. And Jesus answered them, were there, were there not ten cleansed, but where are the nine? Okay, that's enough of that. That's too much for my brain at this hour. I want to welcome some of the new subscribers on YouTube. God bless you. Our numbers, a subscription is going up. Thank you, Jesus. 
And uh, so I want you to speak life and love and prayers and blessings into Christine's life. Such a gorgeous, 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 glowing, radiant face I see. In the name of Jesus, Father, we bless Christine. <clears throat> we thank you, Lord. She has the glow of you, the glow of you on her life. And that she is just such an awesome, awesome witness. I see children around you. I don't know if you have children. I don't know if you're a teacher. I have no idea, but I just see children around you. So I just take that, that God has that motherly spirit, you know, that I see in you, that you have this nurturing kind of thing that you just you are a born nurture, nurturer, <laughs> if I'm saying that right. So we thank you, Father, for Christine's life, and we just ask that you bless her in the name of Jesus. She's a new subscriber since one day ago. So thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Christine. We pray these, these videos encourage you and bless you. And uh, well, everything else God wants to do through these videos. I never put the cap on and say that's all these videos are for because God, we serve a supernatural God and many supernatural things have happened from these videos. It's amazing. Amazing. Okay. Guy has tiger. Uh, it looks like a mama tiger and a baby tiger on the back of them. Papa or mama tiger, whatever that is, probably a mama tiger. So we thank you for Guy, Father God, in the name of Jesus that there is that uh that there is just you know a beautiful i just see um i see a very artsy person i have no idea if you're uh male female whatever i just see a very artsy person creative and you have a very imaginative mind and so we thank you father god for the gifts the nine gifts we just thank you jesus Okay, uh, moving on down. Eric, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, for Eric. I just see, uh, wow, Eric, I have no idea. I don't know you from Adam, <laughs> but I see on you, Eric, that, um, and it could be way off, like I don't nail me to the cross for this one, but Eric, I see you're very uh, like accounting and business. You're very with numbers, numbers, numbers. Maybe you saying, Susan, you're way off. I don't know. I just see that you have the gift of account. Maybe it's accountability. Maybe that's what God is. The word is, you know, evolving to what the true thing that God is trying to say here. But that's what I see. I see you're a very uh, artsy and accounting that you have. It's like multitask. You have multiple gifts inside of you that are just awesome. Okay, Bridget, 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 in the name of Jesus. You are a fireball for God. That's what I see over you, Bridget. I see that you just have that. Wow, you know how to you know how to grab the devil by the throat. Let me just tell you, nobody better cross you when you are praying because your prayers move mountains and and um uh, and you know how it says faith without works is dead, but you are not afraid to work. And I don't mean just you speak at the devil with your mouth, but you are a woman, a woman with a mantle of action. And, you know, you are, you're like a leader, a born leader, those kind of personalities that you just know somebody gives you a little piece of uh, bread and you can build a whole field with it. <laughs> Okay, and Grace, 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 I just see, uh, I see a lot of, a lot of blessings there. I see athletics, I have no idea, but I'm seeing the word athletics over you, and I'm also seeing um, <clears throat> acting. Now, I have no idea if you're anything in the arts, you know, you anything in the industry, don't know nothing. I know nothing, but God knows it all. <laughs> and I see just uh, maybe it's a teaching thing with acting. I don't know what it is, but I just see that you're, I see athletics in <clears throat> the industry whatsoever, whether maybe it's, I don't know what it is, but I just see that over you. Okay. Rochelle, Rochelle. 
Rachel. You're a doer. You know, some people are just talkers, but you're another one of these people that you do it. You are a woman of action. You know, I just love it when I see your pictures because it's so easy to really see, you know, that um, I just see you are a, a bombshell for the Lord. You know what I'm saying, bombshell. In other words, look out, devil, because Rochelle is in the house. <laughs> they used to say, Elvis is in the building. Well, I got this to say, Rochelle is in the building, so look out, devil. Okay, and, uh, and that's enough. I want to now move into a few comments because I just want to have an easy morning this morning. And the Lord showed, popped that word rapture out to me. I was so excited. I want to read that in a moment. But I want to spend a few moments and just say God bless you to some of the people that have made comments, which I thank God for you. Daily you make comments. It's so wonderful to see your names and your faces because we are a family. And this is, I just want this to be an easy, easy Friday morning. So Richard, and I uh, believe you're in Italy, Richard, aren't you? Um, Richard has been a long time friend of mine on, I believe it's Facebook for many, many years. And so he just uh, says, awesome message, Susan. As always, I personally had my own life or death experience. So every time you said the name Richard, even though you are truly referring to another Richard who is still the current owner of Virgin Records because he did not die and didn't do to a true miracle by uh, Yah. It is also true that Yah blessed me July 10, giving me a very powerful miracle and not allowing the devil to kill me because of a septic shock problem. Um, condition as I was taken via ambulance to the emergency room since I had fallen and nearly fell on face by a motel because of being too septic. Amen and hallelujah that I am I am alive and still kicking. That's it. Go kick the devil, Richard. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Uh, and I want to say uh, also God bless to uh, Epi the beautiful sweet face i love you guys you and your husband i'm always seeing your beautiful notes thank you jesus she says amen laughter is good for the soul have some fun from time to time amen michael michael uh michael says you're amazing you just keep on going no matter what thanks for being faithful to god by encouraging us weaker saints to continue on to the end, which will be our new beginning. That's right. God have mercy on us all and take us out here, out of here when it's time. Amen, Michael. I'm with you on that one. And I think sometimes I'm just like the energet, uh, energet what is it, that bunny that just keeps going, going, takes a licking and it keeps on ticking. <laughs> Okay, Carolyn, God bless you. Good to see your comments. I love you. You are so precious. I just, uh, you know, it's the love of the Lord that we supernaturally feel. Like when you're watching me, I can't see you right now, but you can see me. And we feel the Holy Spirit because we truly are related. We are real family. <clears throat> so, um, also, want to welcome the Armor of God, shared a beautiful video of a lullaby from heaven, and I watched you play the piano, and it was just beautiful. And I do believe that there will be wind and all of these things in heaven, because I've been there. I have seen the, it, the outer part of heaven is so beautiful. It's alive. The grass is waving. The trees have you know, it's you can't even put it in words. It's just beautiful. Okay, uh, Bear says, uh, God bless you, Brother Bear, Gary. Uh, I believe it's Gary, forgive me. And amen, Sister Yahweh bless you. And he puts out awesome videos. It's Bear049. 
I just um, thank God for your videos. And uh, Piano Pounder, 68% of the church is going men. 68% of church going men view porn on a regular basis. Why? One big reason is that be, is that fear of God has is hardly ever preached anymore. Fear of God. Also, many of those men are being taught that they will surely get into heaven even if they practice viewing porn just as long as they believe in Jesus. I could think of one preacher right off the bat that comes into my mind. I'm not going to speak the name, but because we are to be led by the Holy Spirit, we should have discernment. We should personally ask God, what about this one? What about that one? Because uh, I don't, you know, things will evolve for themselves. If someone is out of alignment with God, like someone uh, sent me a video today and said, oh, I'm going to nail this person to the cross. Here they are. They're exposed. And I didn't, I didn't even go to the website because that's not my agenda. And I pray to God that we personally ask the person. And also, if someone is offending you or whatever, you're being offended, and or you think that you're doing your job, that that's your job to go find out all of these people that are doing bad things and to, that you're going to bring it to their attention like they don't have a walk with God themselves. I hope they do. Some people, they are arrogant. They do things that are not, in, not right in the Lord's eyes. But I have ran into so many of these people working in the religious, if you want to call it that, industry for so many years. And I finally decided, you know what? I am not the police, internet police. I am not the internet, uh, I am not the church policeman. Uh, I, I want to be a lover of people and I want to try to, you know, God, because many of these people, they're not going to change no matter what you say to them anyway. They, you know, they say as someone that's over seven years old, their their personality is formed, and that's pretty much it, unless God step in. Many people are very stubborn. You know, they they are full of themselves. They're not humble or open to whatsoever God would say. Surely, if they're not going to listen to God, you think they're going to listen to what you have to tell them? As you think you're the internet police, they're not. And so I have decided in my own walk with the Lord, it's best. To pray, like Amy Simple McPherson said, you can say what you will about me, but I will pray. Yeah, I can, I'm not saying it right, but you know this, probably have heard of it, many of you, that she says, she says, I will talk to you about the Lord on my knees. I will pray for you on my knees. So to me, this is the best thing. You know, there's more power in prayer than anything, because uh, many times all you're going to do is just make somebody more mad. They're going to be uh, more angry and they're going to rise up and just be, you know, more stuck in whatever they're doing. You really have to leave these people to God because it says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. OK, I'll leave that. God bless you, Roger. Roger is always saying hello. I love you, Roger. God bless you, Susan. I ran into a similar situation today. We had a dive team in at work. The safety officer was cutting corners to get to the job along just them. I, I realized why my boss sent me on this site. No one was aware of the dangers lurking. I lost a coworker at this exact place. God gave me courage to stand up to what was going down and so on. He goes on. God bless you, Mike. Mike says, God bless everyone on this YouTube channel. Amen. God bless you, Mike. We love you in the Lord. I love you. I'm praying for you. And uh, we just uh, pray God's blessing over your life this day. Okay, here it is. Drum roll. <laughs> I love it. Okay, here it is. I went to Bible Gateway. I typed in. First, I typed in a few other words, and those were okay. But I thought, I, I, I want to hear something awesome, Lord. So I just thought, I'm just going to type it in anyway. I'm just going to type in the word rapture and see what comes up. Guess what? I typed in the word rapture, 
and it says rapture is found one time in the Bible. The scripture is 1 Thessalonians 4, 17. Now I'm reading from the Amplified Version, which the word rapture is in moons, but it's there, but it's there. Then we who are alive and remain on the earth will simultaneously be caught up, raptured <laughs> together with them, the resurrected ones, in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so will we always be with the Lord. Isn't that awesome? So reading 13 through 18, those who died in Christ. Now we do not want you to be uninformed believers about those who are asleep in death. Okay, well, I believe that the moment we die, we go straight to be with the Father because it says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So I leave it right there for that so that you will not grieve for them as the others do who have no hope beyond this present life. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, as in fact he did, even so, in this same way by raising them from the dead, will bring with him those believers who have fallen asleep in Jesus. For we say this to you by the Lord's own words, that we who are still alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will in no way proceed into his presence, those believers who have fallen asleep in death. And so it says, that is 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18. Now, let's read right here in context. 1 Thessalonians 4, 17, 16 through 18. For the Lord himself will come down from heaven with a shout of command with the voice of the archangel and with the blast of the trumpet of God and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain on the earth will simultaneously be caught up, raptured together with them, the resurrected ones, the resurrected ones, the resurrected ones in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air so will we also always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort and encourage one another with these words concerning our reunion with believers who have died. Reunion. Our reunion. You know, I, I think of Randy. His mother is just now, um, it would seem, passing into the presence of the Lord as she is at peace with this. This is her desire. So Randy has accepted it. But I want to say, Randy, it's not going to be that long. You're going to be home again with your mother in heaven. Home again. It's interesting the Lord would say that out of me, huh? Home again. Well, we were thoughts. The Lo It says in the word, we were thoughts. The Lord thought us up. We were, some people say, we were in heaven before he sent us down here. So, you know, all of these things are just up for talk, conversation, counsel, thought, prayer. But the focus should not be on who's right about this, who's right about that. The focus should be on, let's watch, he's coming back and he's coming soon. And this is our focus to pray as many 
salvations that the Lord would speak to those hearts. Continue to pray. Don't give up for that loved one. Don't give up. Some people say, well, you're just wasting your time. They're never going to come in. Let God be the judge of these things. Let God be the one. For he truly is the one that has to woo them in any way. Any way. We can't command someone be saved. We can pray the Holy Spirit brings about a situation where they will see themselves. I always ask God, I pray and I say, Father, show them themselves and show them you. Show them the love that they are missing, that they want to be a part of, that will make them fulfilled. In the name of Jesus. Ken writes, there was an incredible large group of people assembled. Oh, I love this one. I love this, Ken, what you wrote here. On one side, with the smaller group, stood Jesus. Interesting, with the smaller group, stood Jesus. On the other side of the much larger group, stood Satan. Separating them, running through the group, was a fence. The scene set. Both Jesus and Satan began calling to the people in their group. Reminds me of uh, when I was a kid in school and we'd stand there as a class, you know, the teacher, we'd all go out to the basketball court or whatever it was, and everybody has to choose sides. And okay, the two leaders of the two different groups, they have to pick, I want this one, and then the other one would pick, I want that one, and then the leader of the other one, you know, it bounced back and forth. And there was always the last one left that neither leader wanted. Thank God Jesus doesn't see us as last. He sees us equally. There is no preference in Jesus' eyes. Okay, the scene said both Jesus and Satan began calling to the people on in their group one by one, each having made up his or her mind, each went to either Jesus or Satan. This kept going, and eventually Jesus had gathered around him a small group of people from the large crowd, from the larger crowds, and Satan took the rest. But one man joined neither group. He climbed the fence that was there and just sat down on it. Then Jesus and his people left and disappeared. Sounds like the rapture to me. So too did Satan and his people, and the man on the fence sat alone. As, as the seven years there, possibly, well, I know Satan, he's not going to be gone, but interesting to see these things. The man said, oh wait, at this, as this man sat there, Satan came back and appeared to be looking for something that he'd lost. The man said, sitting on the fence, the man said, have you been, have you lost something? Satan looked straight at him and replied, no, there you are, come with me. But the man said, but the man, but said the man, I sat on the fence. I chose neither you nor him. You're with me forever, smirked Satan. I own the fence. I own the fence. So, of course, that took me to that scripture, you know, that if you're lukewarm, he will spew you right out of his mouth. So we don't want to be lukewarm. Okay, Texas writes, I love that song. I sing along with you. I've always wanted to sing. Have the, have the great range, but that's not my voice. It's a tenor without range. But once when I lived in MS, Mississippi, in the 1980s, knee, down, knee deep in pro-life, I had a dream. 
I and two other women were on stage in front of thousands of people singing praises to the Lord. I knew I was in heaven. Some prayers will be answered there, not here. God has given me the gift to write here on earth. I've written a few books, but my heart's desire is to write the book that would grab people to put into words an action story that would bring everything we're seeing as Christians in the here and now vividly in book form. Please pray for me, Susan, that this prayer he will answer while I'm still here on earth. Once again, I enjoy you and look forward to every day your show. Father, we pray for Texas that you will give him the desires of his heart. Let it be a quick book, Lord. Let it be a downloadable book that people can immediately have in their possession and do this work quickly, Lord, for time is of the essence in Jesus' name. Piano Pounder, 68% of the church men view porn on a regular basis. Why? Because one reason that they have no fear of God hardly ever preached anymore. That's true. That's very true. In the name of Jesus, Father, now we thank you for this day. We ask for your blessing on our life. Bless us. Father, thank you for Eric's letter in the mail and his donation, Father, to the ministry. Bless everyone that's given to this ministry. Let it return 1,000 fold. You do this, Lord. You return the blessing, Lord, 1,000 fold. For they seeding, they're seeding into you, Lord, your work. Thank you, Father. And thank you, Father, for the albums, Father, that, that they're slowly beginning to sell. Thank you, Father, for those that are purchasing the albums um, that this ministry put out, Heavenly Love and Pools Asylum. We lay those again on your altar, Lord, and we ask that you bless those and that people will purchase those for their loved ones in the name of Jesus or as a gift to someone, pass it to someone that needs to have you in front of their eyes, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, for all those that have prayer requests right now, they're hurting in their body, they have a toothache, a headache, a backache, a neck ache, what a foot ache, in the name of Jesus, we ask you, Holy Spirit, touch them now, heal them mightily by your presence, not by power, not by might, but by thy spirit, Lord Jesus. Holy Spirit, heal them now. And I know you're doing it because I can feel you go right out of my hands. When we acknowledge you, Lord, and we give you all the glory, all the glory, as we know you are a doer of your own word. You perform this, Father. You perform this as we just believe and accept and receive by faith in the name of Jesus. And then he says, do something you could not do before. Be an, a doer of the word. Step it out. Move that part of the body. Don't be afraid and don't wait for God to come down and and hit you over the head with some great big thing. You step out. You be a woman of action. You be a man of action. Thank you, Lord. Thank you now for the praise reports, the prayer requests. Bless us as we go about our day, Father. We love you. We give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ. Have a blessed weekend. I love you. Faster than the speed of light His presence is here tonight Able to make demons flee And open the blind eyes to see Look up in the sky It's a bird It's a plane No, 
It's Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God. Faster than a second in a twinkling of an eye. Who's that coming out of the sky? He's coming. And the beginning, he was in the And all things were made through him. And without him, nothing was made that was made. Faster than a second in a twinkling of an eye. Was the life, and the life was the light of man. And the light shined in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. Beheld his glory, and the glory of the only begotten Son. Who's that coming out of the sky? I saw the holy city, the New Jerusalem, coming down from heaven, the tabernacle of God. And the angels were singing, Hallelujah! Glory to the King, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ. 